All right, what's up everybody? Tendo here, and we've got an interesting day today. You see, yesterday on the podcast, we announced what we were going to be doing for the next week or two, the next few weeks. We're going to travel, we're kind of opening up our own store on the other side of the country in a weird way, and we're doing lots of cool stuff, and we don't have much time to prepare for it. So what today's episode is actually going to be is us doing a lot of work around the game room and around the house and in our van getting ready for a cross-country thrift adventure where we also go set up a store on the other side of the country. If you didn't check out yesterday's podcast, you probably should because there's a lot to catch up on. But what today is all about is preparing for that trip, preparing to go open that store. We've got a lot to do today. Do stick around to the end. We are going to stop at a thrift store before the day's over and see if we can't find some video games. But for now, we've got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. So if you didn't watch yesterday's podcast, do go back and watch it, but uh, I'll go ahead and tell you just in case you didn't what's going on and kind of catch you up. We are driving back home, cross country. We are gonna kind of take a wiggly route and go thrifting in a lot of random different places. And then we're going home to Kentucky where I'm from, and we're actually gonna set up a store. Not a proper store, but kind of like a flea market booth type store where we're gonna resell Nerf guns and toys and a little bit of gaming stuff and just a, a big bunch of stuff we've been hoarding. I've got a storage unit full of nonsense that we're basically taking back home to sell and I've got a friend there that is going to man the booth and man the restocking and we're just going to make constant trips back and forth across country uh, just to really do crazy thrifting videos but then also bring him stuff to restock that store. I know that's a lot. It's a lot to process right now but uh, it's also a reason why you should subscribe because our channel is going to turn into one big giant adventure kind of facilitating all that. Hannah is going to wildly change what she's doing with her clothing to kind of fit an on-the-road lifestyle. She's going to pare down the size, but up the quality of the stuff she carries so we can still sell stuff on the road. So what today's video is going to be about, and quite frankly our next week or so's worth of videos is going to be about, is us cramming our life in a lot of ways into this van. So we're going to do some work right now until the podcast. And then... And then I don't know what. <laughs> we got a lot to do, but the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put Hannah in the shopping cart and push her around. Yay! Get in. This is it, I'm done. Oh God, oh shit. <laughs> Come here, I wanna show you something. So uh, I've got a lot of comments lately about how much weight I've been losing and stuff and I, I'm not giving any health advice but the two biggest things I've done, I've been eating a lot less and then I've just cut out drinking anything sugary. So I've just been chugging water constantly. And so the way that I do that is I try to keep this big cup with me at all times. Let me show you something real annoying though. It's too big for that one, it's way too small for that one. And this thing just keeps tumbling across the car and it makes me almost not even want to bring it with me. So I've been looking for a solution and today I think I've found one. This is an abandoned shopping cart, right? Perfect fit. Now, I've went ahead, I've removed the screws from this. Are you watching? Bruh. Modern problems require modern solutions. Shopping cart solutions. <laughs> what do you think? It's dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect too. I'm not going anywhere without that cup ever again. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and make this bad boy official. I think I'm just gonna go right ahead and drill the holes. It's permanent. It's part of my life now. Is it gonna make it harder for you to slip back? I think you can still squeeze through there, can't you? Um, uh, yeah, I can make it work. Kind of running low on the standard longer bolts. It's not really a lot longer than the ones I have. It's also a lot bigger. Uh, we're cooking with fire! Fire! Alright, let me grab. Oh, baby! Get it, fam! <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. 
the only thing that could have been better is if I'd gotten the shopping cart from thrift store, which I did not. But for the dumpster, same same. <laughs> I mean, it, I guess it's it's in the same family. All right, let's tighten her up. Solid. It ain't going nowhere, baby. That's what I call DIY. That's DIY <laughs> right there. This has been another episode of DIY with Tindo. So something about, uh, so you guys recognize this behind me, right? It's the game room, it's where we shot. So you guys recognize this behind me, right? It's our game room, it's where we shoot all of our videos. It's where we sit for our live podcast. And uh, I'll tell you what's funny. This is what it looks like before and after every podcast, just an absolute wreck. It's a weekly cycle because it's also the space we use for our reselling business. It just gets decimated every week. But uh, what I've got to do right now is get set up for the podcast, but we're doing double duty because there's a lot of stuff in here that needs to be packed up for our trip back home because a lot of stuff in here is going to get sold in our shop. Now don't worry, I'm not getting rid of my collection. I'm not selling a single video game. Uh, but there are some little things like <clears throat> my Ninja Turtle collection. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it in for sale. I've said since the beginning when I bought it, I don't really wanna collect turtles. I've got a couple turtle items that you guys have sent me that we're not gonna sell. And then like, there's also some stuff like the Ninja Turtle cups that Hannah bought, we're not gonna sell those. But, uh, and then there's like a couple of my favorites I'm gonna keep. So I'm still gonna keep a lot of little stuff. There's still gonna be a shelf full of knickknacks, like half of this Mario collection's from you guys. I wouldn't dare get rid of that. It's one of my favorite things in the game room. Most recent edition, this Game Boy wallet, what do you guys sent me? Uh, so yeah, but then like, <clears throat> I'm really torn because here's my Marvel collection, which I love. That stuff sells really well, and do I love it enough to keep letting it take up room? I just don't know. But there's a lot of decisions that need to be made right now. Because, like, one of my most favorite things ever is my Power Rangers collection, but it's kind of the same thing. I'd rather fill that space with video games anyways. So I'm going to start piling a bunch of stuff up now to take back home for resale purposes. Uh, but one other thing we should talk about is this booth that we're going home to set up. I, I bet this probably sounds crazy to you guys, driving stuff cross-country to sell it there. It is crazy, but we did it once. We did it for four months. We made huge profits. It was a lot of work driving back and forth to go home though. But where we're at right now is we've got, we've both got, you know, family members that are getting older and stuff. Like I've got a grandmother I need to go spend more time with and help out a little bit because she's just getting older. So this is also kind of a way for us to facilitate cross country trips and have it paid for. This stuff will take home to be sold in a shop. We'll more than pay for our trips home. Uh, and we'll, we'll make profit on top of that. So. It's something we've been thinking about for a long time because a whole two years before I started this channel, we were doing that. It's another one of the huge ways we got into reselling. I was driving home when my grandmother first started getting sick. I was like, why don't I take a bunch of toys back with me and just sell them and every time I go, I'll take more. And it worked out well. It did get tiresome with all the driving though. But I think this time is gonna be different because Hannah, my main, my main squeeze, <laughs> she no longer has her job and she's gonna be able to go with me on every trip and uh it's just gonna shopping to refill the store back home is only gonna facilitate her clothes reselling right so this whole thing this whole big plan we have it all works together and what i feel like is a pretty good harmony you know we're we're thrift shopping cross country on trips we have to go take anyways and along the way we're facilitating our travel by reselling toys we're making our main income by reselling clothing and uh, all along the way, we're collecting video games and you know, hanging out with you guys. So I'm happy about it, but I'm not gonna be able to breathe easy until this mess is cleaned up because we go live on the internet in like four hours. So let's get to work. It's kind of really interesting to consider how big of a dilemma that this causes because you know, there's stuff where I, I don't want to get rid of a single console. I don't want to get rid of a single video game. But I've always struggled with these toys. Go back and watch my game room videos and it's always like, I've, I've taken these toys out, put them back in the storage unit and brought them back a dozen times. This happens to tons of people who collect. The toys are always the thing that gets shoved aside first. So I kind of just tell myself, well, why even worry about them, you know? Uh, I don't get that much enjoyment out of the toys. I, I do the Power Rangers. That's probably the most enjoyment I get out of these toys in a second a very close second would be the mario stuff 
but like the Mario shelf is like integral to the channel so it's not going anywhere the Power Rangers stuff is just like super nostalgic for me so I you know I feel very strongly about it uh, but then like the Ninja Turtles I don't have any attachment to and I need more space and we need to facilitate this reselling so I, I spent four dollars on these turtles and all I have will probably make me 50 75 bucks one of these days uh, but the, but the hard decision here is like what do I do about the Pokemon stuff I don't want to get rid of these Pokeballs so I'm keeping those so I might as well just keep the Pokemon shelf for now which I think I will but you know I got I got rid of my Star Wars stuff like my Star Wars potato heads they're going I'm just not that attached uh, but then there's a lot of weird stuff like I have this shelf full of odd stuff like Ron Burgundy uh, Exodia, right? Not that attached, but oh, I do like this stuff. Not the mama. I am happy though that when I do purchase this stuff, there's now room for cooler stuff like the sharks you guys have sent me. All three of these things have been sent to me in the mail. And uh, I've not had anywhere to display them, but I will now. And then I am keeping my most of my good Pez. So you guys have sent me a lot of Pez, and most of them have been brand new. So they're all hung up on the wall behind me. Uh, but my big box of nonsense Pez, I'm gonna go ahead and take home and resell. Now, some new people watching may not know the history on the channel with Pez, but go scroll back through all our videos, and you're gonna see a lot of Pez. I bought a huge box with about a thousand in them once. And uh, we're gonna put them in baggies and sell baggies full for four or five bucks and make a bunch of money that way. But I still do love my, my good pets. So those guys are staying. And really my hardest decisions right now are keep the Power Rangers or let them go. And then my superhero stuff up there, keep them or let them go. I just don't know. Hannah, what do you think? If, um, mm. So? Can I find it again? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. None of it's hard to find. I just, I don't know. I think what I'll do is just pare everything down. I think maybe I'll like, I'll just go for a complete set of the Flippy Head Rangers, right? I'll just, I'll keep, I have like half of this set anyways. Maybe I'll just keep one of each. And one of these days I'll just have that set on a shelf and that'll be it. I think I can be happy with that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll sell the rest. Which is kind of a bummer because I do like those big plushy ones, but tough decisions have to be made because I've got about a thousand video games sitting over there that need shelf space. So this uh, this all works together for the greater good. This is not going anywhere though. <laughs> so I'm not really clear in my own head yet as to whether or not I'm collecting Star Wars books, but I'm definitely reading them. So I'm already well into this series right here, The Young Jedi Knights. So I'm probably going to hang on to all of those until I read them. And I don't know if I'm going to keep the books once I read them or just keep reselling them and just eventually read them but not necessarily hold on to them. But that's the row that I'm keeping. And then here in my handy dandy shopping cart, we've got all of the other series bagged up. We've already listed a couple sets on eBay and had some luck. But most of them are going to go back to our store in Kentucky to sell. So I'm, that was a hard choice because I want to keep them all. My default position is to keep everything, but uh, we're going to just keep what we need for now and be a little bit more realistic about it. Just getting everything put in one place that we're going to take with us. Oh, this is heavy. Another big tough decision is gaming manuals. I... <laughs> I have way more than I'll ever use and these are actually something I buy because I want to use them for future videos and stuff so I'm gonna get rid of anything I'm definitely never gonna play right so like we're playing Xena that's probably our favorite gaming manual here so that's not going anywhere and I'm trying to sort out all these Game Informer magazines while we're at it I already sorted some magazines here I'm not getting rid of any magazines they're like top five favorite things Little Big Planet we'll play. We'll play all the Lego games. Aliens, though, don't plan on playing. Grand Theft Auto we'll play. Battlefront we'll play. That we'll definitely play. Uh, there's a lot of stuff like this, like Mass Effect. No interest there. Uh, Portal. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid's probably.
Rise of the Agronauts, that's a no. Skylanders is a yes. I mean, I'll probably play some of these Rainbow Six games, but I don't think I'll need the manual for them, so. Gear, ah, Gears is tough. Resident Evil, probably Oblivion and Prototype, no. Roblox, lol. Had to get a the IKEA bag and start putting those in there. Patrick, yeah or no? No. Big no? He said that game sucks. He, which of these I do and don't have checked this out? Come closer. Guinness World Records 2009, 10, 13, 14, 17. Nine, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 12, that might be the first one, I gotta find out, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so I'm definitely missing 16, and I need to see if it went on after 17, I'm actually not sure, but I, I, and I also don't know if this was the first one. But I'm getting really close to having all these. All right, do it the wall. Well, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make videos in the future that are like not really game reviews, but kind of like timestamps of history and what games were like to people when they came out. And I, I just think these are good. I mean, these 2009. You know, there's like facts in here about these Dragon Ball Z games and stuff from back then. And I, I think a, a lot of times information will show up in these, sometimes interviews with developers and stuff that really aren't going to show up on Wikipedia, you know? So I like having them as a literal history reference. Do you approve or does that sound like complete nonsense? Well, I didn't see that they were all gaming. Yeah. Right? Oh, you thought those were just... I thought they were just basic... You thought they were records. Guinness World Record books? I was like, nice. <laughs> World records. Well, I tell you what, those girl, those regular Guinness World Record books show up a ton at the thrift, so I could get those if I wanted them. All right, let's uh, say Rip Starcraft. Uh, game on. We kind of keep that with those. I'm gonna draw Zelda. Yep. Well, I like those. Let's rip. Ultimate Alliance. Keep. Let's rip Call of Duty. I don't think I'm gonna play Max Payne. Kane and Lynch, Turok, I kind of wanted to play those, but I don't think it's a game I'd use the gaming manual for. Keeping all Grand Theft Auto. White Knight Chronicles, anybody watching know this game? Patrick, you ever heard of it? Nope. That's a big gnaw for Patrick, dog. Alright. Tack, oh yeah, these, this is my pile of heaps. I was like, yeah, I'm keeping all these. Crash, Zelda. That's a good stash. Hannah's like, tax my favorite. This is my gaming manual. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Battlefronts keep, Lego keep. I think this is a continuation of my keep pile, except we have two of these. Halo Reach keep. I don't feel like I'm getting rid of as many as I thought I would. <sighs> Big keep, keep, yeah, this is more of my keep stuff. Mortal Kombat, Assassin's Creed, keep. All right, is that everything? Did I go through it all? Yes. All right, so we've got, I mean, that's not a bad stack to take back to Kentucky to sell. Uh, not a ton of it is stuff I think people will be excited about, but I paid a quarter piece for those at the bins. So two, three dollars a piece, NBD. All right, we go live in exactly four minutes. So that means that it is time to get a quick wardrobe change. And uh, Patrick, uh, tell them what's going on today. Cause uh, I'm getting naked. Yeah, you don't want to see that. Uh, just doing a podcast, chatty chat about some big announcements. Yeah, we're making announcements you guys pretty much already know. Uh, and I might have over oversold it because look at the look at the cover photo. A big announcement. 
And uh, I mean, we're just announcing that we're going on a road trip and want to maybe do some meetups with some of you guys, that kind of thing. I don't know. Hopefully, people aren't letting down. Hopefully, nobody's expecting a baby. I am not. You're not? Patrick's pregnant. <laughs> Yikes. Like, literally. All right. So, let's uh, everybody get your mics turned on. Let's do a mic check. Mine's been off the whole time. We got four minutes. We need to do the check, and then I need to go pee before we hit the live button. Oh. Good. Testing? Testing. Yeah. Testing. All right. We look good. So, I'm going to go pee. We've got three minutes before we go live. And we're all, let's do one more test just to calm my nerves. Check. 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 All right. All right, I'm gonna hit the live button, but we're streaming the music. There's 20 people here already. Just get all the, I'm getting all the notifications out. What's up everybody? It's your boy Tendo here. And with me, we got Pat Man Pat. And over here at the keys on the controls in control of the space station, is your girl Hannah? Now, what did you get? Chicken. What did you get? More chicken. We all got chicken because that's the only thing this place has. So the podcast is over. It went really well. We kind of announced everything we're doing. Got some good feedback about where to go, where to thrift on the road. Um, we're excited. We're excited to get to it, get to work. Uh, kind of feels surreal now that we've put it out into the world. We're going on this trip, we're doing this thing because I don't want to say now we have to because we're going to anyways, but now it's real. And uh, it's time to go on an adventure. I need some french fries. It's really hot. It's hot. All right. That door is loud. That music is louder. Listen, chicken was good. We just can't fight the urge. We're going to go to one Goodwill before we call it quits for the day. It has just been half off Saturday a couple days ago, so don't expect this to go well. But we're gonna go to one of my favorite Goodwills, see if we can't find something to take home. Patrick, let's go. Okay. He's so excited. Did you see the excitement on his face? All right, we're at one of my favorite Goodwills. Hopefully there's something nice. It is not a good time of the week to be here, but you just never know. You never know till you go. Look, there's a couch outside the front door. He must be picking it up, but at first that was a bit weird. <laughs> there is stuff in the lockbox. I'd like to see these two Xbox games. Yeah, these two? those two black ones, black label ones. And then uh, there's just a couple more. No, this uh, 360, yeah, that's the one. And then I think that's all. Okay, I didn't realize what that was. Battlegrounds. All right, I'll definitely buy this one. Okay, this one? Yeah. Uh, And then, can I see this one right here? The Night Caster. I think that's what that says. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take that one as well. That should be it. Uh, can I see what this upside down GameCube one is? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Harry Potter. All right. Uh, yeah, I think that should do it. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll just take uh, this two. Right All right. Uh, I'm going to keep looking around. Dallas. Right, Dallas is the name. Thank you. Lord of the Rings board game. So today I'm just in a dishes mood. I just wanted to go to the dishes and see all the pretty things like these. Look at these. These are by Old Avondale Meekin J J and G Meekin England. They are super pretty. They've got all these little um, like dessert plates and then the like teacup plate and then one big plate but it's got a chip in it. So rip. Um, those are really pretty too. Then you got some interesting stuff like these little um, teacups that they have individually priced. So if I wanted to walk home with all those, I'd have to pay $3.49 a piece, which is asking a lot, not gonna lie to you. Uh, but there is a lot of really beautiful dishware here today, but nothing that I'm looking, picking up. Um, this is really pretty though. It's a giant nutcracker bowl. It's humongoid. You can eat a lot of popcorn out of that. There's a bunch of Mikasa plates. Um, a friend of mine collects this brand, but that is not the set she collects. It's one that's similar to it. 
not one, but two IKEA shelves. No hardware, but they all have the appropriate number of shelves. $30 a piece. Third, well, let's make sure they're not two for 30. Oh, they are. It's 30 bucks for both of them. That's a pretty good deal and I should get them, but we've got too much to deal with right now to deal with two more shelves that would need to be stored and painted. I think I'll at the least send a picture of them to some friends of mine who definitely need some more white shelves. Ugh. Ugh. All right, Pat, what'd you find? Is that a Ninja Turtle dart gun? Ninja Turtle gun. Well, well, I just took all the Ninja Turtles off my shelf, so that's a rip. I think someone dumped off their collection of mugs or maybe they like, I don't know, sell these mugs. I'm not sure, but there are a lot of very similar mugs. There's like this one, it's like says buds on it. Very, like not the most interesting thing in the world. That actually might be from her set. Anyway, um, there's this one also buds, but then it says I'm late for work. Okay. And then it gets weirder. Then you have this one, which have cookie boobs on them. Okay. Then you get into this one, which has some um, nudity on it. So we'll maybe blur that. I don't know. Might have to cut that. <laughs> yeah, there's just a ton of them. Like here's more of the cookie boobs and the buds ones. More of those buds ones. There's just so many of them. So many. <gasps> this is one of those mugs that like you pour the hot stuff in it and it this all turns like green I guess. Oh I like these. We won't be getting it though. We don't need more mugs. Mm, let's see what weird stuff we can find. It's pretty scary. A monkey sunflower. Betty's birthday bash, a large truck. So there's so much cookingware in this world that just makes me so hungry. Like, look at this. Ugh. I just want a strawberry pie now. I've never made a strawberry pie. I don't think I've actually ever had a strawberry pie, but now I want one. It looks like the best thing in the world. Noms. Oh, that one's like a big pan, big pie. Big pie lid. <laughs> oh, I love dishes. Got a roly with a dab of ranch. <laughs> That's a few dabs of ranch. <laughs> Should I get it? It's large and in charge. You know what that is? Yokai watch. Nice. I'm gonna get it. Do you want a bag of balls? Yeah. I've got, I've got a bag of balls. Yikes. Let's get far away from that. Slinky Junior box, but no Slinky Junior. Oh yeah. Here we go. NBA celebrity cards. Wait. It's not even a player. Inbound pass. Specialty three. Missed shot. Scoring one. NBA playing cards. I left there with two Xbox games that look pretty sweet and a yokai watch. Uh, let's go home. Let's do a little wrap up. We'll talk about these games. Maybe you guys can tell me whether or not I should play either of them because I'm not really familiar with either of them. All right, guys, we are back in the game room. I got two video games and I got a watch. The yokai watch is pretty dope. Uh, I have tried to play the Yokai Watch games a little bit. They're not really for me, but I do like that like Pokemon collector vibe that they have going on. So I was happy to finally pick up a little piece of Yokai Watch to actually put on my shelf. I'll just set it in front of the actual Yokai Watch game. But I bought two video games today, both that I'm really excited about. Lightcaster, Defeat the Darkness, because it just kind of looks cool. I don't know much about it, but you guys definitely tell me if it's worth playing or not. Maybe I'll give it a try, but this I'm extra excited about Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds. I love Magic the Gathering. I never was a hardcore player, but I've had tons of friends over the years that were, and uh, I just get excited at the thought of Magic the Gathering video games. So I'm happy to have this. 
Don't know if I'm going to give it a shot or not. I'll probably at least put it in once just to see if it's got any cool game mechanics that I might like. But I'm interested to hear from you guys as to whether or not you like it. But that's it. That's all that I got at the thrift store today. Not a huge thrifting trip. Um, I, I know we've done a little bit less thrifting in the last few days, but believe me, we're going to more than make up here for it soon because as I've already at least tried to make clear, we're going on the road soon. We're going to do a lot of thrifting, both for reselling. Hopefully, I come back with a lot of extra video games for collecting. But our main goal for this trip cut up is really going to be for reselling. So we ought to buy some really interesting stuff come up. So do me a favor, guys. Hit that subscribe button because this trip that we're about to embark on, this trip that you saw us set up for today, I have a feeling that not only is it going to be a lot of fun for us, but it, it really should turn into some of the best content we've ever made. Because, you know, we're going further that we've ever gone we're we're go we're gonna do more than we've ever done and uh we have plans to hook up with some people via our discord to do some thrifting with some of you guys when we come to your area i think that could potentially be really fun because then you'll get to hear some other people talk about what they thrift and why other than me because you've heard me talk about everything i've ever thrifted for a long time now so i think that'll be an interesting thing so uh, let's unpack that a little bit. If you're interested in something like that, if you're interested with thrifting with us uh, on a potential episode, go join our Discord. The link is below. It'll kind of be our communication hub that we use to talk to people while we're on the road about what we're doing. I mean, we'll communicate a little bit through the channel here, obviously, but it's not as quick because these videos sometimes are two or three days behind. And uh, our Discord, it's just basically a chatting app. It's real time. So come join that Discord and let's talk about maybe hooking up and doing something together. I'm very excited about that. Um, but it's going to be fun because there's just going to be so much more that we're about to go do than we've ever done, I feel like. I feel like, I feel like this is almost going to be a new fresh start for our channel and I can't wait. Uh, I haven't made an exact announcement on, announcement on when we're leaving because we might leave the day after tomorrow, but our original plan was to leave this coming Monday, but things moved around where we could leave earlier, but uh, in the next week or so, we're gonna be on the road. Uh, I might be done packing and everything that we need to do like tomorrow, so we could potentially leave the next day, I don't know. But you're gonna know pretty soon. You're gonna wake up one day in a couple days and today's and that day's newest video is gonna be, hey, we're on the road. So I hope you guys are down to hang out with us. Uh, both in the YouTube comments and maybe, very possibly, maybe in person once this trip gets started. Join the Discord. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so that when we do post those videos, when we do get out on the road, you'll get a notification and you can come back then and hang out with us then. Guys, I can't wait until then. But until then, peace out.